Good morning, dear children. Today we will begin our lesson number five, Shravan Kumar. Long time ago, there lived a boy called Shravan Kumar. He was very unfortunate as both of his parents were blind. He had to look after his parents and do all types of household chores throughout the day. As his parents were unable to see, so he had to do all the work for them. He was a very responsible son and did all the work for his parents with full of eagerness and responsibility. None of the wishes of his parents remained unfulfilled as he always tried his best to fulfill every wish of his parents. This story of Shravan Kumar is also mentioned in the Hindu epic Ramayana. So, let's read the story. Shravan Kumar's parents were old and blind. He looked after his parents with love and care. He cooked for them, washed their clothes and bathed them. He did all he could to make them happy. In those days, Dashrath was the king of Kaushala. Shravan's parents wanted to go on a pilgrimage. This was their last wish. So you must have got the introduction that Shravan's parents were old and they could not see. And that is why Shravan used to take care of them. He used to look after his parents with utmost love and care. He used to cook for them. He feed them. He wash their clothes. He give bath to them and does all the chorus which a ideal son should do. And he did all to make them happy. During the, that time, Dashrath was the king of Kaushal. Kaushal is a name of a territory. King Dashrath is the father of Lord Ram in the epic Ramayana. Now, the Shravan's father and mother, they wanted to go on a pilgrimage and it was their last wish. Pilgrimage is the journey to all the holy shrines of the Hindus. Shravan got two large strong baskets. He tied these baskets to either ends of a stick bamboo pole. Settling his parents in the baskets, he heaved the pole on his shoulders and began his journey. Shravan walked all day. He rested only at night. After a week, he reached a dense forest. He wanted to cross it before nightfall. But as the sun set, it became very dark. They decided to spend the night in the forest. So now to fulfill his parents' last, last wish to go on, on a pilgrimage, uh, Shravan had to do something so that he could take his mother as well as father to the pilgrimage. But because both of them could not see, so it was difficult for him to manage that. So he thought of an idea. He took two large strong baskets and these baskets he tied those two baskets to a strong bamboo stick pole and then he made his parents sit in those baskets and carried the baskets with the help of the bamboo pole on his shoulder and set off for his journey to the pilgrimage. Now while going to the pilgrimage Shravan used to walk all day. He only take rest at night. So see how determined he was and how much uh, humble and uh, responsible child he was that he, he used to walk all day so that his parents last wish could be fulfilled. Now he continued to walk for a week and then he reached a very dense forest. He wanted that before the night comes, he, he wanted to cross the forest. But he was not able to do that. And the sun set 
and it became very dark that means the night arrived so he decided that they will take rest in the forest after the hot and tiring day shravan's father asked for some water shravan picked up the clay jug it was empty he could not bear to see his father thirsty all night he went to look for water with the empty jug in his hand a cool wind blew in front in from the east shravan told his parents that there was a river nearby shravan dipped the jug into the river that night king dashrath was out hunting on the banks of the river sariyu he was a fine archer he could aim and shoot without seeing his target just a sound was enough so now when they walked for a week and then they took a rest in a dense forest to spend the night now what happened the day was very hot and very tiring for all of them for shravan and for his parents so shravan's father asked for water but when shravan picked up the clay jug clay is that mud from which utensils have, are made so it's a sticky kind of a clay so when shravan picked up the jug the jug was empty now he could not see his father thirsty all night how could he at last he was shravan kumar so he could not see his father thirsty so he what he did he started to look for water now when he was searching the uh, searching for water he uh, experienced that cool wind is blowing from the east direction so he uh, suggested his parents that there might be a river nearby because cool wind is coming from that side so he went to take water from the river when shravan reached the river he dipped the jug into the river to fill water meanwhile during the same night king dashrath was on hunting so king dashrath was on hunting in the same forest and he came to the near that river the name of the river was sariyu s a r a y u sariyu king dashrath was a very fine archer archer means a person who can skillfully use bow and an arrow like arjun so king dashrath was a very fine archer and he could aim and shoot at its at it at his target without seeing the target so see how fine archer he was without looking at the target and just listening to the sound of something he can shoot at that so king dashrath also came to the banks of the river sari that's all for today the rest of the chapter we will study in the next video thanks a lot